you guys think this bike is badass? Well, you have a chance to win it. All you have to do is go to fbombbaggers.com right now, buy anything in our store, and you'll automatically be entered. We rescued this 2016 Rogue Live from Copart. We ended up murdering it out, airing it out, and laying it out. And all you have to do is buy anything in our store right now, and you'll automatically be entered. So make sure you go to fbombbaggers.com right now, and in 45 days, we're going to give this away to one lucky winner. All right, fellas, we are back with another video here. And this is the juicy squeeze that we have of the last video, actually, of all this leaked information, what I found on the internet, what you guys have sent me. But uh, first, if you're not aware, we uh, just ended our Fat Tire giveaway, Fat Tire Big Board giveaway last uh, last night. And we still have our Rogue Glide giveaway going on, which is less than 30 days. So you can go to our website right now, buy anything in our store, you'll automatically get entered for that 2016 Rogue Glide. If you're not aware and you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and anything uh, you see on here, please uh, give us a comment. But yeah, the winner last night, his name is Rich, local to the Chicago area. He ended up, was undecisive on what he wanted to do because he actually just had motor work done at uh, a shop Dave is Southside Dave it's called they I guess he did cam oil pump and all that and blacked it blacked some of it out so he's like man I didn't know I don't know if I want to do that so basically he's going with the fat tire he's already got the he's got a 2018 uh, street glide standard so it has the enforcer wheels on it the five spoke style wheels so we're just going to get him a 21 fat tire front enforcer style and then we'll I'll just end up scooping it up because he's not too far away he's like 25 minutes but either way, like I said, we're giving that road glide away. Yes, a complete road glide running that we rescued from Copart, blacked it out, aired it out, put bars on it, all some fancy shit. We got a couple other things we're going to be adding to it in uh, order to spice things up a little bit. But it's all up to you guys. So make sure you go uh, hit that store. It's all revamped, all ready to rock, and got some new, uh, new swag and new accessories. So fbombbaggers.com. But in the meantime... The last video I'm going to throw up on this uh, leaked stuff, which more found, more found information on Reddit and uh, from you guys sending it right off the bat. Um, there is a Rogue Glide ST standard, or like not a CVO. There isn't, a, for whatever reason, there isn't a Street Glide CVO. I'm sorry, there isn't a Street Glide ST. There's a Street Glide CVO ST, but not a regular Street Glide. It's not listed. And I'll throw the images and everything that we have up here. Uh, we know for a fact it's getting the 117 motor for all your... It's, so basically there's just a street glide and a road glide. That's it. And it's kind of ironic that the road glide ultra limited and the street glide ultra limited, all that stuff. If you look in the brochure, I'll throw it up right now. They're the older version. They're not this new one, which imagine buying a 2024 at this point and not getting the new version. That's stupid. So, but yeah, and this first picture here, you can see right off the bat, uh, these someone took these pictures and they were on reddit. Uh, it's a 117 VVT motor so var variable valve timing uh, on this on this guy and then it just says with increased displacement torque and horsepower the 2024 engine features new liquid cooled cylinder heads so we'll see if that's a gimmick again like the other one uh, that further optimize thermal comfort for the rider especially in low riding speed situations and hot weather. So we'll see if that makes the big of a difference. And then for the 2024 Rogue Glide, it's 16 pounds lighter than the 2023 Rogue Glide Special, enhancing all aspects of riding performance, including acceleration and braking. So that's their big, uh, big deal for that one. It says something, shark nose fairing, signature LED lighting, gloss black cast aluminum wheels. Like I said, they don't have the spoke wheels on it. And then CBO. 25th anniversary graphics and they got the white bike up which is the one we showed you yesterday and then the black one obviously too that uh you know is the cvo on it and then this one says the milwaukee going to the white now cvo this one says the milwaukee 8 121 high output engine is tuned to produce more horsepower and torque than the milwaukee vv2 121 engine with a high performance camshaft race inspired high performance air intake and elevated 5900 rpm so that would be the road glide st cvo that they're talking about that one and then just throwing up the basic images of the the 2024 if you, if you, you know there it's got the, the two white ones from before those are the cvos 
Uh, the, there, there is no true basic ones other than the brochure itself, but here's the red one. If you see that, that's the new style, or that new color, I don't know if that's that red or that, that, that brown we looked at the other day. And then don't forget the one I talked about yesterday, the new, the new performance style uh, street glide with the, the silver, orange, and everything on it, which is, you know, it's kind of cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, but then going into the other pictures here, the 2024 Harley Davidson motorcycles, it then releases and shows you the CVO street glide, which is the new one, and then the CVO road glide, which is the new one with the custom paint, the CVO road glide ST with the white eagle on the side, and then the CVO Pan America, no one gives a shit about that thing. But like I said, there's no CVO ST street glide, so it looks like there isn't gonna be one. And then jumping to the regular versions of their street glide and road glide that you can see them at the top. But then, like I said, when you jump to the Road King Special, the Ultra Limited in the middle, the Road Glide Limited, that's all old basic stuff along with the tripe too. So I don't know what the deal is with that if they're trying to just run with that for another year because they overproduced them or whatever, but who knows? Um, you know, in my opinion, it's a waste of money if anyone buys that. You might as well just jump for the new one. But yeah, I guess we find out tomorrow, not tomorrow, sorry. It'll drop, this will drop Monday. So we'll find out on Wednesday morning, probably like 10 or 11 o'clock. And then they will be readily, readily available, I guess, by the end of the week. And supposedly they are cheaper. So that's one thing we do know. But, um, yeah, as of right now, like I said, we're we're at the point where there are looks to be no standard style CV. I'm sorry, no standard style STs. There are only CVO STs. And then the other thing, which Macho actually pointed out the other day, um, I'll have to throw the old picture up. That you looked at it, the road glide, the bars were actually taller. You could kind of tell in the picture, but then if if you zoomed in, it was pretty noticeable. Now we come to find out, I'll throw this picture up here, it's very pixelated. They actually have, I wanna see it while I'm on the phone. Let me see if they can sharpen this one up too. There's on it. So it's basically, it almost looks like it is the same bar that they used on the 23 CVOs. It just has a riser on it now and it looks to be like, I don't know, a six inch riser, eight inch riser. So they're, it, they're able to do that because of the screen has all the gauges and stuff on it now. So you don't really need anything on that. So we'll see, I guess, you know, Time will tell. I dig the white one, that's cool for sure. That's cool, they did the carbon fiber and, and all that. But um, we just wait a couple days here and see what we got going on when they do come out, you know, and go from there. So until then, like I said, guys, uh, February 17th, I believe it is, or 18th, February 18th, we are gonna give, the, we're gonna go live and give this Rogue Glide away. So one of yous will win it, whoever is entered. Um, we're making your ass come up here to get it. No, we will not ship it to you. You're gonna have to drive up here and why we're doing that is because we're giving away a bike and you probably spent less than you know 100 bucks or 200 bucks and won a bike and we wanna get the content out of it so we can throw the video up and let everyone know, you know, see what, see what happens when you win a bike. And if this one goes well, then we will do another one for sure. If it doesn't go well, then I guess we just, you know, ax it. Um, so we will, time will tell here in the next two weeks if it does go well. So, but till then, don't forget, drop a comment. Let me know, let me know what you guys think about this. Are we into these new ones? Or are we just gonna leave them out? Some of you guys in the other other posts or other video were just like, screw this, I ain't fine. I'm fine with my bike. I kind of do agree with you on it, especially when it comes to what we're doing. You know, you stretch them all out and do all this crazy stuff to it. The only thing that's pleasing to me is the outer fairing and the inner fairing and the screen that's it everything else is basically the same to me so it's it's crap but yeah like i said don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and drop that comment all right peace